So, the lovely Ayala invited me to do a collaboration with her, and she painted a background and I painted a background. And this is what she sent me, and I was inspired. It, it looked like a forest floor to me, with bursts of color from flowering plants and sunlight bursting down in pools of water. And so I decided to turn it into some foliage with flowers and trees. I sketched it in with a charcoal marker and then used some uh, white paint to block out where I wanted things to go. And then beyond that, it really is just all painting the remainder parts. I did feel like it needed some emerging life, and so I added a butterfly emerging from a chrysalis. And so I thought from here on out I would add some prose. Caterpillars have no concept of up. Caterpillars have no necks. They perceive their world by contorting their body to move their, their stomata, simple eyes, only capable of detecting brightness of light in a back and forth manner. They have no concept of left or right, but especially have no knowledge of up. All they know is forward. We believe this because if you physically change their path, they do not turn left or right, backwards, forwards, down or up. If they are going up a tree, they are only going forward on the plane presented them. If you lay the tree down, they don't alter their course so as to continue up. They are completely unaware, possibly even, of other caterpillars. When a caterpillar forms a chrysalis, it completely dissolves inside. There's no semblance of tissue, no nervous system, no skin, no soup. But it's not caterpillar soup. Once the chrysalis is complete and the tissues break down, they are fundamentally changed. Not necessarily on a genetic level, any more than you would be genetically different from your infant self. No, in instead it's more like all of their stuff is in a different place, more complex from then on. They are butterfly soup. This is easier to comprehend when you remember that they are not ultimately caterpillars as much as they are pre-butterflies. When they emerge and fly off, it is doubtful they have any remaining remembrance of having ever been a caterpillar. All that was caterpillars left behind in the husk of the chrysalis. If the other caterpillars are aware of each other, which is unlikely, but we'll never really know, then all they would perceive is that one of them had ended. One of the other caterpillars just ceased. All that is left is the husk of the chrysalis. They would not be aware of the butterfly flying off into the new life. The butterfly likely would have no memory of the old life, as she was completely transformed. There would simply be one less caterpillar, because caterpillars have no concept of up. subscribe to this channel you need to subscribe to this channel you need to subscribe to this channel subscribe to the artistic biker now click the buttons <laughs>